is only war. What is up, gents? 40k Dirtbags here. We just got back from Nova. Uh, we did a Grey Knight run at 6-2 and two, uh, throughout the entire week, and we played eight games, three games on Friday, three games on Saturday, two games on Sunday. We're going to be doing a, I believe, an eight-part video of Nova. We're going to go over each and every match in it. Uh, this will just be a standard start of the video, so you guys don't have to hear me say the same thing eight single times or have me try and repeat the same thing eight single times. So if you guys are new to the channel, appreciate you clicking on the video. There's going to be a lot of different armies to cover and also mainly focusing on the Grey Knights. This is pre-nerf, so by the time you guys see this video, the Thursday update with uh, Games Workshop probably already came out and the points and everything changed. So this was all pre uh, buff hopefully for Grey Knights and we had a great time in Nova everybody who came up to me and, and got dice I, I appreciate you guys you guys are all fucking awesome dirtbags so we also sold a ton, a ton of stuff at Nova too so you guys who came up and just bought some stickers and dice and, and, and some Caldus Assassins I do also appreciate appreciate you guys uh, you, you just seeing people say hey your channel's awesome or I like your videos or I watch your content like that that's such, such a cool feeling it makes me want to keep doing this and go out to major GT so that way I can see people all over the country uh, if not the world so uh, we actually had a team USA player at the very end uh, at our last game which I can't wait to talk about uh, super fun game so uh, we're gonna go over each and every game we're gonna take pictures or we took pictures we're gonna go over each picture uh, tactics um, what I did good, what I could have done better, what the opponent did good, what he could have done better, and kind of what we learned from it. Also, there's one special video that we're going to go over. Uh, it was our against our Eldar player, which you guys, if you guys are in the Discord, uh, you guys heard all about it. If you guys are at Nova, you heard all about it. Uh, so we're going to be going over that as well. Real quick, just before we get into the video, uh, we still have all of this that wrong thing. So we still have all of these things up for sale. We sold a bunch of these at Nova, uh, it's all of the stickers <clears throat> provided custom through one of our artists on Fiverr. Uh, we also have two, uh, we have a Caldus Assassin as well as Kodias and two colored dice left. So we have the silver dice and the green dice, they're dirtbag uh, dice, they are basically limited edition now uh, just because they're almost sold out. But any of the stickers are $3, dice are $1 each, and the Caldus and Kodias are $15 each. So if you guys are interested, hit me up on Discord, uh, we send them out uh, all over the world, and also the um, terrain uh, objectives uh, you get to pick any one of these stickers with the dirtbag logo underneath and any color you guys want that's over on the uh, link below so like i said we're gonna get into the video uh, leave the comments below what you liked what you didn't like and also what you want to see more of go join the discord and if you guys are a patreon you guys get to see all these videos free uh, for first on patreon.com one dollar a month gets you access five dollars a month if you want to go ham and support us a little bit more over at dirtbags uh ten dollars if you want to get in the competitive scene uh and 25 dollars if you want to be a grandmaster and have us play lists you guys want to see on the tabletop or get any tts games uh with us as well so let's get in the video and uh again one through the eight uh we'll, we'll name it once we come back all right, what's up, Jen? So this is the second game of Nova. Uh, we are doing an eight-part series. This is number two of eight. Uh, this game was the first day, second game. Uh, I played this guy before at, at another tournament. Uh, he's a, he's a, he watches the channel, Dirtbag. So the Dirtbag. So it's funny because when I first played on stream, when Dirtbags were still kind of newer, we are at like our 1,000 subscribers, I said like, let's go dirtbags or whatever on the stream and everybody thought i was talking like bad about dirtbags so no like we're the fucking 40k dirtbag so it's actually a compliment like be a fucking dirtbag so uh yes so this is a a guy who watches the channel so i love watching playing people that know our channel and kind of how we are so it's really cool uh super fun game uh this is the first time i played the uh guys that have 12 inch can't deep strike within you know their 12 inch bubble so i needed to kill them as soon as possible that was my, that was my focus one of the top uh players in our meta sasha he actually runs three units of these guys so every single time you're on a marine army these guys would help you out so fucking much um just the bubble is ginormous especially with gray knights gene silicol out like any army custodies chaos face marine any army that deep strikes they're gonna hate this fucking list so he brought uh, two sniper units that have lone operative. He brought two of the 12 inch bubble units, a Rhino, uh, two death company, one walking, one jetpacks, one Terminator brick uh, with a character, 
uh, I think two five men of or one ten men of these guys that are super good in combat, and then one another ten men that is super good in combat. So all blood angels, all good good at combat. Um, just the marine list. So Grey Knights have a huge benefit in the marine list, and he wasn't aware of that. I wasn't aware of that either. So going into it, I know we can kill marines, and. Uh, he kind of knew that great knights don't kill shit. So he kind of went into the into the mindset that like we can't really do a lot But my list was tailored towards Marine lists. I don't like facing terminators. So I ignored the terminators the whole game, but my list spe specifically gears towards killing Marines or uh, Custodies if I can get them without their cover save now we have pure fires, we have minus one AP side cannons. So if I can get all my side cannons to shoot at a unit at minus one AP and they're not in cover, that's the only way I'm gonna kill them. So we're really good at killing Marines that they have to roll a three up save. So if they roll any ones and twos, they did they just die. With the pure fires, AP one ignoring cover, they just die. So it's like my list is made towards Marines, and all of his guys are Marines besides this one 10 man terminator unit, which I try and avoid as much as possible. So this was the setup. Uh, we had capture enemy outpost and cleanse turn one, which kind of sucks because he has his 12 inch bubble so we can't get anywhere near him. So I had to get rid of capture enemy outpost as soon as possible. And then cleanse, we had to try and cleanse two objectives to get uh, our five points. That little fuck symbol is basically uh, anytime the vect goes off, I put that on the uh, dice for um, what's the word? Obsec? No, uh, start CP. So I put the fuck under the CP so that way we know that the Vect went off. It's kind of a little reminder. I get that from Jack. Uh, but this is the deployment. We have our um, standard line right here, 30 inches in the center, and then going all the way to the corner, 30 inches in the center, going all the way to the corner. So this is my line. That's his line. He has a Rhino, obviously, really good strat with the guys, Death Company inside. Uh, we have this the, this 10 man unit right here, snipers, the 12 inch bubble guys, terminators blocking the rhino, and then we have the 12 inch bubble guys and the uh, other dudes blocking out back here. They're all lone operative. So I, I needed my purifiers to not come down and shoot because I'm outside of 12 inches. I need them to be on the board and advance forward. If I need to spend one CP to shoot, I will. So basically I get a 12 inch movement with shooting, hitting on twos with all my shots. So that was the goal of this unit down here is to basically be forward because he, he doesn't have a lot of shooting. So I wanted to be 21 inches away from his rhino so that way he doesn't get me turn one. So everything else is 21 inches away, 21 inches away, 21 inches away. The strikes are there in case I need to move forward. And then if I have to take over the center, they can take over the center. The interceptors are there again to either hop up to the center objective, hop up to this objective. The paladins over there to again do the same thing where if I have to move up and shoot, I can move up and shoot. And then the assassin back here kind of just controlling the backfield. So that was my game plan is, it is I need to stay on the table to get to their 12 inch bubble guys because i have to kill them as soon as possible if i can't kill them he's going to win the game so we had turn one uh we had to get cleanse off so we have our guys scooch up and then scooch up again on the, on the edge of the corner to get cleanse and then the interceptors hopped up here to get cleanse uh the, the terminators advance for one cp to hop up here to get a full line of sight onto these guys so that way we can kill as many uh dudes as possible in turn one so i think we killed down to three dudes so <laughs> our 700 point unit killed is like 134 130 point unit he was like wow they do kill guys i was like yeah this is 700 points like it's a lot a lot of fucking points to try and kill this 130 point unit so um I couldn't get line of sight onto uh, this 12 man breaker. I would have killed them, but we had to advance uh, our six inches, so 11 inches up this way to get line of sight onto these guys. And 24 inch range was pretty good. So I know the snipers aren't really gonna do a lot to us on the top, and these guys, if I kill them, that's one less squad I have to worry about. So the interceptors hopped up, cleanse, strikes, cleanse, uh, and then kill shit, and then I got rid of the uh, home field objective. So his turn, uh, he, it's funny because he was another player that didn't uh, play Grey Knights before and he basically knew that he had to make a 9 inch charge that's that's what he knew which was good he's a good player so he always had this uh, or it was my 9 inch stick but he always stayed 9 inches away so I didn't miss the Damas away and he just tried to make a 9 inch charge that's the only way to really beat Grey Knights 
if they don't fuck up. So I didn't, I try not to fuck up during this matchup because again, it's another Marine list. So his three or four guys survived. They ran behind this, this wall so I couldn't shoot them. The snipers walked up and stole this objective. I spent one CP uh, for Mist of Deimos, these guys instead because I wanted to keep this top field objective. So he walked up, I only had one guy on it. I spent one CP to Mr. Deimos to walk my other five guys onto it, which beat him uh, four to five. So I had five OPSEC, he had four OPSEC. So I was able to uh, keep that top objective on the bottom of one. So that's missed is really good at either stealing objectives, getting away from people, or just going back into reserves. The 10 man pally brick advanced up to there to kind of, you know, again, shoot these guys, take them down to three. These guys then moved back, fell behind the wall. There's a 10 man uh, blob right behind here as well. And those guys didn't leave the Rhino. These guys failed their charge. The purifiers uh, didn't really move too far just because we didn't want to get the charge turn one off this rhino. So if the rhino walks up and charges my purifiers, I don't want the purifiers to die. So we waited for them to, to come out and give me a unit. So he did by moving his uh, snipers up and gave me this unit to kind of shoot at. So I couldn't get line of sight, even if I advanced 12 inches down to here, I couldn't get line of sight onto his uh, his 12 inch bubble over here. So we had to just kind of advance uh, up here to shoot the snipers to take them off the bottom field objective so that way he didn't get uh, primary points. We made this sticky on turn one, Assassin's doing her job back there. He got cleanse as well and secure uh, no man's land. So we had to control this sec, uh, the, this primary, this primary, or this primary, which he got that one, and I think he, he got that one. So my turn, uh, we then picked up our uh, paladins, dropped them back down here outside nine inches of these guys, and we wanted to make sure that we can get as many shots as we could on the 12 inch bubble guys. I, again, I have to kill them as much as possible. So what he does is, well, my interceptors moved up, uh, shot and charge the sniper dudes and then pile in back onto the objective to try and be as far away from these guys as possible. Terminators again failed the charge, but we had to put the assassin down because we had the uh, come within six inches of the center. And if you control the center without them being within six inches, you get points. So that's why the assassin down is down in the center. We vected reroll charges because against Blood Angels, hey, that's good. Uh, so if they fail the charge, they have to spend two CP to reroll the charges. Our purifiers advanced up, try to block out as much of the zone as possible. Uh, he still had his death company in reserves. So with Grey Knights, it's really easy if you go first to just block out most of the zone. We had our exaction squad up at the top here, block out basically nine inches there, 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 there like all of this. And then uh, here I can actually do this for you guys. Anybody who's watching who knows that we talked about this, let me do a little, little thing here. So. Uh, we have our exaction squad nine inches blocked out from like here. These guys are blocking out here. These guys are blocking out here. Uh, she is blocking out here. These guys are blocking out here. He's blocking out here. These guys are blocking out all of this. So basically that part of the zone is blocked out from Grey Knight units. So the only option a, a Blood Angel player to have is to basically come in right here. That is his zone that he can drop in, all right? And what he does is he has to drop in right here. This is actually pretty cool. So he drops in right there, uh, which is again, I don't want him anywhere in my fucking backfield. If he can get in my backfield, I kind of lost the game. So I want to keep him as far forward away from my home field objective as possible. So that's kind of the whole goal is to block out as many as possible. That's why the exaction squads are so good because they can take up so much board space walking in six inches and having a nine inch uh, screen out. So exaction holding the center. These guys are uh, sticky, sticky and then the purifiers are holding down the bottom field. Uh, Rhino ran onto the bottom field objective just to hold it. I need to kill the Rhino to try and take the bottom. But what he does is he, he basically puts everybody, he doesn't move these three guys. Cause if he moves those three guys, he gets a vect away. Or what's it called? Uh, sit, not sigil, uh, teleport away. 
So he doesn't shoot me at all because he's a good player. So he puts his three guys here. They don't move. The Terminators move up outside nine inches. Uh, the Death Company move out outside nine inches. And these guys deep strike outside nine inches, obviously. So he makes his first charge. Here we go. First charge is an 11. <laughs> there you go. So first charge is an 11. Second charge is a, uh, a 10. So his first two fucking Death Company get into my Paladin Brick. So I'm like, all right, never seen this before, so let's see what happens. Uh, we spend one CP for minus one uh, AP, uh, and then his death company charge in. We spend our one free CP strat to interrupt. We interrupt and we kill as many of the other death companies as possible. He spends two CP to fight on death, so that way he can still at least get his attacks back. Because I think we killed like eight guys with our paladins. So if our paladins are killing a shit ton of guys, they still get to fight back. Um, against us so that's again still really strong after these two assaults i think we had one paladin and one grandmaster left there we go we had one paladin and one grandmaster left out of that huge fucking combat uh they don't have any minuses to wound because he didn't bring all hammers i think he brought he might have fists so they were minus one but most of the time they were just honestly they're probably all hammers i don't even remember <laughs> it's their second game so he killed nine paladins at minus one to wound uh and i had plus one ap to my save and uh i only killed seven i'm sorry eight no i killed seven of the regular marines he had a character left here and all 10 of the uh, death company jump pack dudes over there so this turn uh we killed he killed everybody so everybody's basically dead I had to charge his uh, unit to try and get some dead left on here. So we basically moved up our interceptors to charge in to try and finish off the uh, walking death company. <clears throat> These guys are still there, just chilling, because anytime he moves up, I get the effect away. Terminators are just chilling. Uh, these guys got out and we were able to kind of put a bunch of flamers into them so we can think we killed like three or four of these guys that that uh, got out from the other side of there. We had behind enemy lines, which we dropped down our assassin back down here so the assassin dropped down here and he wasn't sure if he, if he was supposed to kill him but he didn't so my assassin lived which got, got me behind enemy lines and i was able to move up and charge his last 12 inch bubble guy to steal the objective on his home field objective so the assassin that wasn't dead the turn prior was able to get me so many more points on his home field objective so that was super clutch by the assassin i wasn't sure if i was going to like the assassin but the assassin if you have an extra 85 points again this is pre thursday fac update all that stuff if you have an extra 85 points i'd rather bring him than the uh brother champion because just just because of what he does he's going to come up in a lot of games uh in this uh weekend so we have our drago coming down uh charging because we had uh killing vehicles so we had bring it down so we had to get our drago down here to bring it down to kill his vehicle so we made our six inch charge the then purifiers walked up and made the charge as well the assassin came down over here to kind of shoot the vehicle and do some damage so all he has left at this turn he still has a lot left honestly he's got terminators this assault company uh, death company three or four i think i killed all of them it's only the character in there left so the salt company death company with jump packs the character uh three man ten man five man and then this five man this one guy and that's basically all he's left we're basically just blocking out our side of the table he doesn't have any more deep strikes left it's mainly just putting them there in case they need to do secondaries so on this spot we have these guys hopping up to the center. Terminator is making the charge onto my uh, Drago unit. So Drago, these guys made the charge as well. So it's Drago and then three or four Terminators that lived just because we couldn't get everybody base to base. So we have our assassin back here. The strikes are chained out over here to keep the backfield objective. Exaction squad, exaction squad, and everything else is basically dead. So what do we do here? The The final game, the uh, Calidus killed that final guy on his home field objective, so he's only holding the home field objective. And mainly the whole point of this game was to stop his primary. So on our primary, we had eight, eight, four, eight. He had four, zero, 
four, eight. So he had 16 for primary. We had 8, 16, 24, 28, but then we had all these kills down here. So the primary helped out by killing shit. He didn't win any of the killing shits. So he didn't kill the models in the turn that he was supposed to kill to get double the points. So we ended up, uh, he had 2, 0, 5, 2, 2, 3, so 14 for primary. And then we had uh, 5, 0, 10, 7, 10, uh, and then eight points, it didn't matter because we, we maxed out. So pri primary, we had 100, and then he had 40. So 40 to 100. Again, that was the first time he played uh, Grey Knights, but Blood Angels versus Grey Knights, it, it is kind of hard counter, especially if they don't have Whirlwinds or um, the Mortal Wound. Like, I really like Zach. Zach's a local player, and he runs a really, like, all comers list. He can teleport his units with the librarian. He has the Caldus Assassin. This guy didn't have the Caldus Assassin. Always bring a Caldus Assassin if you're Marines. Um, he didn't have a lot of the the tools to really counter what we're bringing to the table. If you can come down and kill our fucking purifier unit as soon as possible, that's going to be the goal of uh, any Marine unit. Uh, purifiers are there to kill Marines. So if you kill the purifiers, especially with Oath of the Moment, before we get to do anything with them, that's that's going to be the the niche of my uh, army is if you can kill my purifiers before i do anything like 395 points worth of stuff you're going to basically win the game and if you can uh vect our mist of deimos you're probably going to have a better time at getting to charges now the i think the second chaos player i played the best thing he did was advance uh two units or advance towards two units at, at the same time and when you do that, I have to choose which one to miss. So am I going to miss the one that I really care about or the one that's closest to you? So if I missed one of them, you can then charge the other unit to still tie them up or kill them and stop me from getting off the table. So that's the best counter to Grey Knights is just run at them in two different directions. And if you can do that, that's going to that's gonna help you out more. If you hold the objectives and I can't get within three inches in the center of the objective, you're going to help, you're going to help yourself out as well. So stuff like this, where if you are right at the edge of the objective, not good against Grey Knights. You want to be dead center or like one here, one there. So that way this side of the uh, three inch bubble is taken and then this side of the three inch bubble is taken. So if you have like six OPSEC on there, I can only fit two guys on the objective, you're going to win the objective game. So that's another counter is if you keep your guys wholly in the center like this, there's no way I can get there, right? So everything is blocked out within three inches. So I can't deep strike my guys there to try and steal the objective back if I had other units. So that's the best way to kind of counter Grey Knights on the objectives. So we'd have to come down and shoot you off the objective before we get onto the objective. But that was our second game into Nova, our, our Blood Angel player. Uh, another, so two for two, 100 point battles uh, into Nova. This is our second game. Third game is coming up, which is going to be a doozy. I uh, can't wait to talk about that. Might take uh, about a half an hour to describe what the fuck happened uh, at that game. But uh, let's, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you liked, what you didn't like. Uh, again, stay tuned for the third game of Nova out of eight. We're going to do eight videos in a row uh, to try and see. You know what we learned what we did good going six and two record you guys kind of want to see what the fuck green knights did before the nerf because after the nerf we might be kind of busted but hey we'll see appreciate it guys good luck and we'll see you in the next video